Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We're going to do a random green mode run because now that we unlocked the lost on our last episode, we can start rocking some uh, green mode, getting that best chance of uh, some holy mantle lost stuff going on. I'd be pretty down with that. Car battery is a great item, but I don't know if it's a good enough item for me to want to spend 15 cents on when our spacebar item is something that in all seriousness will probably keep this entire time because it's so good for green mode because we can basically do all of the uh you have a damage up for all of the rooms judas is an interesting character for green mode uh because on the one end the low health at the start is so dangerous because, I mean, get it, we got an HP up, so we're more lucky. But we take three more hits, and we're uh, dead as a doorknob. So we want to be as careful as we can be. Uh, but Book of Belial also gives such a great benefit. Uh, what are what are we uh, doing right now? We're one hit away from death. I, I see this, I recognize this, I acknowledge this, and I understand this. I'm scared of it, yes. But I think we're going to be okay. Just gotta play it careful. We gotta get our dodge on. Get out and dodge. Get out of dodge. Keep the dodge go. Oh, you didn't. You didn't, game. Okay. Uh, let's try that again. Toothpicks is better than Mom's Pearls. Gotta give me a three cent key. No three cent key. Okay. Uh, Judas's tongue is good. I don't know if it's worth even buying here. I don't know. Maybe we play this guy uh, once. He pops out a pill. This pill is amazing. It's infested. Okay. Uh, let's just fight. This is going to be an interesting one. I can already tell. Uh, do I need to give my spiel about uh, Judas again? I don't really think I do. We just got a crowd control here. Get everything killed ASAP. No need to collect the money yet, Tyler. Don't don't worry about the money. You greedy little bastard. Don't don't worry about the money. Okay. We're doing fine. Flies are good. I like flies. It's the pop-up dudes. You know, the ones that just spawn right. Oh no, flies again. They decide to be nice to us. Uh these guys can be a pain in the butt in green mode. Okay, that worked fine. More flies. And that's, all, that's everything. We're going to go out of this not taking damage. Awesome. That's a, that's a real, real great start. This green mode run is looking fine. Okay, what do we take first? That's what really uh, matters here. Let's take Speedball. And then let's take Judas's Tongue. And... I think we'll stop at that for right now. I do still recognize we need to get a key and go into our item room. I took Judas's tongue just because an HP up allows us to take a deal with the devil, and going the angel deal route in green mode is an awful freaking idea. Like, angel deals blow in green mode. They usually blow regularly, but they're extra bad in green mode. That being said, Devil Deals are also pretty bad in green mode, but you got a chance at pulling something Maw the Void, uh, Dust Touch, you know, something not incredible, but really, still really good. I'm using Incredible as, uh, I really should not have done that yet, but I'm using Incredible as, like, Brimstone Mom's Knife. You don't see those too, too often in green mode. Taurus is, uh, it's good and bad. Speedball kind of makes up for it, but it's still, uh, a little dicey. Can't deny that. This is kind of sucky because we're not going to be able to take a deal unless it's a uh, trade a red heart for a normal heart. Black heart, I'm, I meant to say there. Not normal heart. A normal heart would be what we have. Okay, give me... Oh, that blows. Give me a spear heart. Give me a spear heart. No, I can't take it. Okay, that's unfortunate, but life goes on. Uh, we will probably be going angel deal route now, but... This was a pretty good first floor, so I can't complain too, too much. I can complain a little bit, but I can't complain too, too much. And Taurus will help in the future. Mr. Dolly's really good here. Give me all... Oh, that's unfortunate. 
Okay. We are gonna buy a key right away and get into our item room. Mom's key is good. Does mom mom's key does give you two keys. Let's wait on that and we'll buy mom's Is that worth it? You don't get that many chests. Mom's key isn't worth it. I'm saying no on that one. Uh yeah, I'm saying no on that one. Let's just go in here. We're not going to buy anything on this floor, I don't think. Because uh, we don't have a reroll machine and we don't really want to get uh, the battery or mom's thing. Uh, lucky that there was a secret room there. That's fine by me. Blackheart is good. We come back over here. And then we blow up the blue fires in the hopes of something there. Oh, Okay. And then we come down and do a little Book of Belial pop pop. And this should go really well. The tears ups that we have received in Mr. Dolly is really good. Damage is great. Uh, would like to get some raw damage just, you know, on the case that we find something that is inconceivably better than Book of Belial. And we really want to get rid of it. But I don't actually see us getting rid of Book of Belial in this run. It's just like, if it's going to give it to us at the beginning and it's a damage up for the entire run, basically, why throw that away for something that, you know, probably isn't much better, uh, if better at all. Okay. We're still fine. Uh, HP is a little low, but I'm not really all that concerned. We're still in good shape. Let's just go. We'll do all these waves. Including deal with the devil, in which, I mean, it's probably going to be a deal with the angel. Uh, but if, you know, if we pull something like Trinity Shield, that's basically like my new favorite angel deal item. Like, what a good item Trinity Shield is. It's not super flashy, but it's going to dodge everything in your path and be great. Haunt shouldn't be that bad here. Uh, I usually, you know, say some kind of mean comment to the haunt, like, eh, you suck. But I, I don't have a reason to here. Double Mega Maw. That's, that's pretty bad. Especially in these rooms where you can't see. Oh, it's so bad. We're about to get uh, Taurus to go. Good. And then just get in here. If we have an orbital, if we ever get the opportunity to take an orbital, we're going to. Because that plus Taurus is really, really good. We got to deal with the devil, and we can't take it because we got hit too many times. That sucks. Okay. Uh, well, we're definitely going to be angel deal route now, which, you know, not the best. Uh, we have a ton of money, but we don't want anything from our shop. Let's just go, and we'll pray for, you know, some amazing item room on this floor. Okay. Oh, uh, we need a key. That's first on the list. We'll buy the seven cent item. It's Binky. I'm actually thrilled about that. Like, I don't really want to take any other items because they could be all hot trashy, but Binky for seven cents is a steal. It's very good. Uh, let's buy this one too. Cuba meat, totally worth it. Uh, my luck is fine, so I'm going to stop. Let's go right. Scapular is okay. PJ's is good. Okay, this floor is cracking up to be a good old floor. Okay. I'm also, you know, looking ahead already. If we somehow get a deal with the devil, uh, we have hopefully the HP to take it. But we also uh, probably won't get a deal with the devil and instead have... Uh, we won't really know what the items are, so it doesn't matter if we get an angel deal, because we can just kind of take the item and not worry about losing health for, uh, say, betrayal or something awful like that. So I guess that's one upside to the fact that we've never had HP to take deal with the devils on this run. But we'll see, that's fine. 43 things of poop isn't going to end my life. I think we're in really good shape. We're, we still need a little bit more. I don't think anybody uh, can disagree with that. We need a couple more items to just bring us over the edge to that, you know, super OP green mode state. But 
I can't bring myself to take any more items on this floor. Like, that'd just be a waste of money. What if I, you know, what if I bought Marked or something? That automatically ruins this run, and, uh, you know, that sucks, because this would have been a good run. Uh, why am I taking so much stupid damage? Well, may never know right now. Okay, Forsaken is not bad. We just, you know, control the bonies and then get out of his way of the BS laser. That being said, speed is not a strong suit, so the BS laser is a little bit annoying. I'd totally be okay with getting more bombs. I think bombs are kind of an underrated uh, thing in green mode, because there's so much that you can bomb for money that it's almost like having a ton of bombs means having a ton of money. So more bombs is good, but we didn't- we gotta deal with the devil. Okay, but it was a crap deal with the devil, so it doesn't matter anyway, okay. Amnesia, uh, not too concerned about that. Range up. I mean, range up is good, so that's fine. What are we hoping for on this floor? Uh, just something- one of those items to bring the run over the top. And neither of these are gonna do it. <laughs> okay, uh, getting a nickel here was good. Let's re-roll a little bit. Uh, is the screw worth it? No, but Champion Belt is. Spider Mod is not worth it. Let's reroll some more. Black Candle's good. Car Battery is also good, but not good enough. Uh, none of those are good. I'm waiting for something amazing to pop out. Chaos is up there on the amazing. I now have a big respect for Mom's Box, but I don't think we can rock that over, uh... Anything here? Coat hanger is good. Nine volts good. Uh, what else? We now have chaos, so everything's gonna be you know jacked up and strange. I uh, will buy the three cent key, even though I now realize it probably wasn't even worth it to buy that. And then uh, let's actually let's just go. Uh, we'll we'll fight these and do that now. And uh, yeah, we're looking good. The uh, well, I can't say that, like, the items we got will be the things to take us over the edge on this run, but Chaos is good because something, you know, give me Sacred Heart in the item pool now. That would be quite the item to get. Uh, wow, that was nice to not take damage on. Is that a big piece of poop? It is a big piece of poop. We'll take out the big piece of poop. Put you back in the toilet. Okay. That was a pretty stupid joke. But all my humor is pretty stupid, so... I hate that you can't see the creep in the womb, man. They, as they probably do that for a reason, but it still is annoying. Okay, uh... uh, 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 uh. I do see we're on one heart. Don't think that I'm not noticing that. And uh, it might be worth it to just buy an HP upgrade from our uh, shop. I think that that might be smart. So we'll buy dog food. Uh, Mask of Infamy is really good. That's fine. We, we don't need it. I hate Brownie more than uh, life itself. So, this isn't my ideal fight, but that's fine. Should also keep noting that we want to keep uh, as much money as we can going into the Ultra Greed fight. Because, you know, the main goal here is to donate. We don't need to actually beat green mode with anybody else now. Besides the loss, but, I mean, we'll do that eventually. Ah, the bloat. He's up there on my list of people I don't like. Just stay above him. Bloat in green mode is not as bad as bloat in regular runs. Just stay above him, and I'll take care of him. Well, here we go. Time for fun. No, you didn't fire. Wow. Okay, you're dead. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, let's... Let's go up here. And let's buy Mask of Infamy. We'll take our one thing here. Butt Bombs would be really good. I'd actually love to get it, but we can't... I can't bring myself to do that right now. Is there anything going on over here? No. Okay, let's just go fight this wave. I wanted to get... HP in order to uh, take a deal with the devil if we got one, but we're also 
probably not going to get one. And it'll instead be an angel deal. Saying as we've now ignored three deals with the devil. Uh, our luck has been on our side to get one. And it probably will not be anymore. If we can take out one of these guys. Yes, we did. Okay, cool. Uh, that works well. I'm sorry that the commentary is a little bland. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm thinking hard right now. This run is taxing my brain a little bit because of the low HP. I'm kind of nervous, kind of worried. Don't want to, uh, we got to deal with the devil. Uh, I don't even think that's worth it to take either of those. I forgot, kind of forgot we had chaos. So let's just go on to the next floor. This is our last item rooms opportunity. So make it the best possible. Uh, yeah, no. And, oh, that's such a good item. Okay. Crown of Light is so good. Uh, very big damage up. What's going on up here? Uh, something I totally pop and take. We blow up these guys. We hope for some Monet. Uh, we got zero Monet, but that's okay. A. And then we come here. Uh, not really sure why the damage isn't off the charts right now because of, uh, Crown of Light, but... That's fine, we'll, uh, we'll deal with it. I usually thought Crown of Light was supposed to give me a uh, little stupid crown and make my damage amazing, but, you know, maybe that's the whole point of the item just kind of disappeared and faded a little bit. What do I know? Maybe our damage is better? Well, it doesn't seem like it, though. It seems like it's exactly the same as the last floor. And we definitely do have Crown of Light active because we haven't taken damage on this floor. But that's fine, whatever, who cares. Okay, there we go. Uh, it, it's still active, so maybe it's just bugged as hell and doesn't work with something. Tyrone, get your game together, man. A kid, you're fine, Tyrone, but like, seriously, why isn't this working? I hate that guy. He's a pain. Okay, we come out, and then we buy... Do we need a shot speed up? I don't think we do. I think we'd re-roll a little bit. Skinny on mushrooms, good, but we have, like, max fire rate right now. Uh, we will take meat, I suppose, uh, as soon as we get a scent. Which we'll get right now, so I'm not really, you know, too concerned. Uh, we kill these guys. The damage is now gonna start getting really good, uh, especially if we can get Chrono Light to work, but, like... It really doesn't seem like it's working. It's a shame that Fallen can't drop us a uh, deal with the devil item here. But that's me nitpicking life a little bit. He's now splitting two. Get rid of this stupid guy up here. Okay, knock out one of them. There we go. Now life is good. Uh, we come up here, we can afford to come up, take meat, and then juice juice is also good, but we don't need it. And then we get a stain fight. I really, I should be happy that the bosses have been incredibly easy so far. Uh, I have no idea where the stain's gonna pop up. Hello? Stain? There you are. Nice to see you. Still took damage, that's fine. We finally get an angel deal, and we get a bunch of uh, health. Which I, you know what, can't even complain, really. Let's just go. We're going on to the last floor. Uh, is this run enough for me to be happy and think that we can beat Ultra Greed? I don't know, man. But I want to save the money. So this is, this is an interesting one. You're going to give me two guppy items in the last floor. All right. Uh, pop something amazing out. No, don't want to. Alright, that's fine. Oh, do we take... I think the most important guppy item here is... Uh, Head of the Keeper's good. But the most important guppy item here is Guppy's Paw. Because we can then get some extra... Oh, what? That's really weird. Okay, uh... God, I... I straight out of ideas for what to do on this one. Sure, you're gonna give me HP. Uh, let's, let's just fight first, and then we'll worry about what we're gonna do later. Because I feel like we can probably beat this, uh, run and get it, like, taken care of just as is. But I also feel like it'd be really nice to have the extra HP. 
But that's like 15 cents to get the extra HP, so why would we spend that uh, if I think that we can beat it without that? That's the situation I'm in right now. Walking host can screw off. I don't even want to deal with him. Uh... This is, this is, this is, uh, yeah, this is a, a weird one. Chaos will always make everything weird. You can count on that. There's times where chaos won't work out. There's times where chaos will work out. But it'll definitely make things weird. And I respect that. I like that. I would love to see a new character in Isaac called, like, uh, who was a random person from the Bible? Moses. I would love to see the new character Moses who starts with chaos. That would be awesome. And maybe like every run it tells you only get a cho you don't get a choice of polaroid or negative, it just tells you where you're going. And then it's like random uh, every single time. It's like a very random character. And maybe like Eden it starts with a random character. I think it'd be unique. Uh, definitely like I like I like Eden a lot, but I think that it's missing you know something. Or maybe just make Eden start with, uh, Chaos. I think that would make Eden really interesting. But then again, you know, people that like to Eden streak and stuff, that kind of ruins Eden for them, maybe. So why not make a new character? Moses. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Cage is fine. Uh, obviously a little tanky of an enemy, but, you know, we're still fine. The tankier the enemy, the more money we get. So, like, can't even complain here. Uh, is it worth it to get Guppy's Paw now? I think it totally is. Like, we've gotten a ton of money. Uh, due to Head of the Keeper and just due to doing the waves themselves. But we're in fine shape. Uh, double stain, like, you know, every other time you play greed mode. Double stain's not even the hard part. It's the double stain plus not being able to walk. I do also now see that we're uh, a little bit iffy on the old health and now would be a really good time to go get guppy's paw probably have an angel deal on its way as well not sure what we can get in it although we can get anything in it because of chaos so that's kind of a good thing i know he's about to pop up somewhere oh maybe not there we go okay angel deal what do we get uh an hp upgrade and the tears up Am I upset? Not in the slightest. Let's head up here, let's buy uh, Guppy's Paw, and do a little bit of that action, and then uh, I think we're good to go. We'll keep the 33 cents to donate. Uh, we got big old tears right now, uh, doing some good damage. We just got to take care of uh, Ultra Green now. We also have a bomb that I conveniently kept to blow up some of those little statue dudes get some extra money the quarter would be great to drop here uh, but you know extra money is just fine as well we will use the bomb here blow up this guy almost blew it myself that would have been pretty embarrassing and then we come up we have a full charge on book of belial and we let him have it i think we're gonna be okay especially with the fact that we have like 400 health i think we're gonna be fine we do want him to come up and stomp up here, because uh, there's, you know, multiple guys that have nickels in their heads, and that's our best chance of getting more money. Or, you know, the bombs are also good. Yep, and they did drop... Oh, he got that one. That sucks. That's fine. Uh, we did lose Crown of Light, which, uh, I mean, it was kind of bound to happen, so I'm not too, too upset. It's unfortunate, but... Things are going to happen. Life's going to happen. Taking a decent amount of damage, which isn't good. But we're also doing a good bit of damage on Ultra Greed. Cuba Meat is always essential in green mode to take care of some of these uh, hearts. But, you know, we also didn't get, take care of any of them right there. Okay, just keep the damage going in. That's all we can really ask for. Uh, I'm repeatedly going to continue to get money because of Head of the Keeper. Just realized that. Kind of an OP item for green mode, can't deny. Am I upset about that? Not in the slightest. Honestly, don't know how much we're going to be able to donate either. I'm hoping, like, all of this, but 
I don't really understand how the greed machine works. I know, like, if you recently played as that character, it's a lesser chance, so you can't just, like, spam Lil with greed mode runs to get the most amount of money. Uh, but I'll be honest, I don't even remember who we started as. We started as Judas. I think, I don't think I've played as Judas in a while, have I? I feel like that was maybe one of my first greed modes I did. So, I think, I think we're fine. Okay, the damage is still good. We just gotta keep, uh, keep, keep more going in. And actually, you know, keep our tears on him. That would be a good thing to do. This fight is a little boring, actually. I don't really want to say too much bad stuff about greed mode here, but... Like I said, needs a new ending. Can't be uh, Ultra Greed every time, but who wants to listen to this little YouTuber boy? The fact that we one-shot those guys doesn't really make those a priority for me to get rid of. Uh, the keys, I'm saying. I'd rather keep the damage going in onto old Ultra Greed himself. It is taking slightly longer than I would have liked. How did that hit me? Uh, taking a lot of stupid damage. I just realized that we're way down on the health. Uh, and I should be a lot more careful. I kind of was lacklustery playing, because I thought that we were just in the clear. But we're not in the clear in the slightest. We're out of the clear. Uh, this is a good opportunity to get good damage in. Normal, normal coins are painful, but easy to uh, dodge and get out of the way of. He is uh, all kinds of shades of red. He's embarrassed about something, I'm sure. Can't be his magnificent touche, I know that. Okay, almost. We're like 90% done. Maybe a little bit more, maybe like 92.7. I think that sounds okay. It's really tempting to just go in and do human meat damage, but I know that it's not going to do all that much damage. Plus, the opportunity to take damage is pretty high. Uh, so close to death, too. Just, just kill him so we can end this. Uh, please, please die. How about now? There we go. Okay. Uh, that was a little, a little sketchier than I would have liked. Green Machine's a 1 on breaking, which isn't the best, but hopefully we can get up to 500. Cross your fingers. Hope you all enjoyed this Green Mode episode. It was a little bit of an interesting one. But I'm sure uh, interesting is better than not interesting. Can we get up to 500? I feel like there's got to be something unlocked at 500. Can it be a uh, Holy Mantle lost? No, I think that's 800. But 500 gives us nothing. Good. Okay. I'm glad. Couldn't be happier about it, really. Being able to donate all of this, though, is actually incredible. So I'm I'm pretty thrilled with how we played. Okay, two cents left, that's fine. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!